88, you fought Larry Holmes. What was that like? Because, you know, Larry Holmes fought Ali. Uh, listen, I was um, 14 in 1980, and I went on October 2nd, I went to Albany, and I saw this on um, movie screen, Ali fight Holmes, and Ali was getting the crap beat out of him for 10 rounds. And when they stopped, everybody was crying, me, because we all got the, the movie theater, we went in the car, and it's 30 mile drive, we didn't say one word. Mm. It all hurt. You fight Muhammad Ali in the ring, and every round you're you're dominating. And then by the tenth round, uh, Ali's trainer Angelo Dundee he stopped the fight, which was the first time that Ali had ever stopped a fight in his entire career. Well, did you see me when you watch the replay on there? When when I walk oh, yeah. back, walk back to my corner, I was walking back to my corner. I doing like this. What do you want to do? Let me kill the guy, huh? You know, listen, they know, Angelo Dundee knew that I could whoop Muhammad Ali, that he ain't had a chance because I was his sparring partner. I was in there every day with the man. I know how he fought. I know how he, what, if he threw it left, I knew if he threw it right. I know how he blocked his punches. He didn't have none of that. And I said, what I got to do? I don't want to kill the guy. <laughs> but I'm gonna beat on him some more, okay? And that's the way it was. And after the fight, I went to his dressing room and he was there, you said, I want homes, I want homes, I want homes. I said, you don't want me no more, man. You don't want me no more. I get, went, to, grabbed him, hugged him, gave him a kiss, and turned around. I said, you'll be the greatest, man. you always be the greatest in my book. Mm. And then they said, you know you got to Ben Ali, right? I said, yes. Wow. I was only 14, they put all that on me. <laughs> You know, you gotta revenge him. So Ali was like a hero to you. Big time. When you beat Larry Holmes, was that a revenge for Muhammad Ali? Well, I believe it was. For me, it was. I don't know how Ali felt about it, but mm -hmm. I felt like I avenged him. Even though that was just a childhood um, prophecy of me, I don't know. It made me feel like I was somebody that did that. I helped Ali. Like, Ali mm -hmm. needs help. I helped Ali. So I could make myself big in my own mind, I guess. In the Holmes fight, Holmes, that was the only time Holmes was knocked out in 75 fights, and you did it. Yeah, but Holmes was the older guy, and after he fought me, he fought around 20 other fights, and he did real well. He fought um, Holyfield, he fought um, uh, Oliver McCall, very close fights, and they, they couldn't beat him. The fights were very close and even, and so um, he just um, did the wrong thing. He came out of retirement, out of retirement, retirement, and fought me his first fight. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if he did what he did, fought 10, 15 fights, then fought, fought me, the fight would turn out so much different.